and it's about three degrees this morning in the West Virginian mountains. I spent the night in Beckley, Beckley, West Virginia last night in a hotel. Had a nice shower, got the campfire stank off me. Yeah, you're not in Georgia anymore, Dorothy. It's, it's cool, but it feels great. Um, we're working our way back north. Maybe back in a couple of days, we'll see. See what I run into. I'm on my way to see something neat. Stay tuned. But check out this beautiful mountain stream. Right on the side of the road. I'm surprised there's no path going up. You could go up to that little plateau there and just, uh, Kind of get your head back together if you were having a bad day. Hang out there for an hour. Nice. Okay, hit the road. Kind of reminds me of Kentucky a little bit. This is coal mining country too, actually, but it's uh, better roads, I'd say. Just a little wider little better condition they're pretty rough in Kentucky and just something creepy about the woods close to you in Kentucky I, I don't know it's I can't explain it I tell this to everybody about my travels you always seem compelled to go to the coasts the beachy areas the thing about that is uh, oftentimes Especially in the states it's a, it's a drive to get out to the coast sometimes not always depends where you are because of uh, deltas of water coming in so you know there's like a lot of times one way in one way out or two and in my experience it's the same old thing a bunch of seafood restaurants a bunch of stores selling beachy junk and yeah it's nice to be out in the open and see the sea but not all the time. It's more breathtaking up in the mountains, always. This is what I've learned. But being a bicyclist, this is ideally the way I'd want to see it, but there's no way I would bicycle in here. Too much up. Lots of down, but lots of up. You wouldn't get very far in a day. Good size river, flowing really fast. I've been thinking of a new adventure. Uh, my buddy Derek moved out to BC, so I, I don't see him anymore. But I will, uh, I will uh, this year or next year. I'll venture out that way. But I was thinking, Derek, we do a lot of canoeing and bicycle trips together over the years. And we're getting older, but I was thinking of some way to do uh, a hike trip of uh, some abandoned rail lines in Kentucky. Just just walk the abandoned rail lines and. Uh, see the side of Kentucky you don't see from the road. What do you think, Derek? Let me know, chum. A little sign brought me in here, a little loop road. It said African American Audio Tour. Quinamont Missionary Baptist Church. Abandoned and boarded up. Wow. Quinamont Missionary Baptist Church, 1870. 
Quinnamount Charter Oak and Iron Company built an iron furnace on Laurel Creek, which operated for three years. The main line of the Chesapeake and Ohio. Blah, 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 blah. Have a read if you want. I'm going to skim through it. Kind of an abandoned little uh, area. I just passed an old railway station down here and uh, some other interesting old buildings on the road. I didn't capture it though because I just turned my camera off. Very interesting. I bet you there's some old uh, things to scour through in the woods here. My obsession with finding an old bottle. Not one of those. Anyway, uh, I'm not gaining much ground this morning. Leyland, West Virginia, unincorporated. Oh, wow. This was uh, mining buildings. They're beautiful. Stone buildings. Bowyer Mining Mine Supply Incorporated. If it's not a museum, it should be. Wow. It should be a distillery or something. Here's a foundation. Oh, wow. Remnants of old buildings. Not burnt. Somebody here has a little slice of paradise. Leyland Baptist Church. Oh, there's a Leyland mine disaster. Site of the largest mine disaster in Fayette County history. On 2 March 1915, coal dust in Leyland, number three ignited, killing 112 men. Oh my. 42 of 53 survivors received six Rescued 6 March, one mile inside 10th left section behind barricade they built. Babcock State Park. I wonder if that's an old original. Beautiful building.
the Glade Creek Grist Mill. Not the original reproduction that a student that worked here one time worked on and I don't know if he made a career here. What a nice job. It's an exact replica of the original with some old parts from uh, other mills in the area such as the wheel for sure. I read that. So the water sluices there and drops into there. And it does actually uh, grind corn. You can buy ground corn to make cornbread, West Virginian cornbread. Even got a nice old uh, bridge, the old uh, footings for the bridge. Look original and old. Now, being a valley boy, I'm uh, saddened that there isn't much of this left in the Ottawa Valley. But things like this would have been all over the place. Little rivers, creeks, some even on the Ottawa, if you watch my day of mill hunting, the Beckwith Mill, that there's nothing left of it, was on the Ottawa, a channel of the Ottawa. So I guess when they opened the sluice gates somewhere, it must uh, fill up and uh, flood into here and hits the wheel. You can see it's all stained from water. I'm not sure how this works. There's a hand crank. I'd have to say that lets water out. There's the gate right there. Hmm. My mechanical mind wants to know how it works. There's a, a water pipe on the bridge. Are they cheating and pumping it in? Because apparently it's a thing that grinds corn. Closed for the season. I sure love to see inside, but it's closed. I don't know if you can see anything or not. Pretty dark in there. I have to assume that's an old grinding wheel, original. Maybe brought from the uh, wherever the original mill is from. Somewhere nearby, apparently. There's the wheel. Oh, 
country road take me home to the place I belong West Virginia shot it back to the caravan let's start heading north Number one. I assume that's Methodist. No offense, it's just that's a thing around here. Back to dying a slow death on the interstates. America has beautiful highways, but they're not as stimulating as the mountainous back roads. We're aiming for Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Trying to eat reasonably healthy, but early lunch kind of felt like a, a burger kind of a day. Um, Hardee's. First time in my life. It's uh, pretty darn good. Tasty burgers, Jules said in Pulp Fiction. Yummy. Mm, wow. That puts McDonald's to shame. And a double burger, too. I vowed never to buy a double burger again, but no regrets. I got an apple core here. We don't have Hardee's where I'm from. If we did, I think it would do well. That is a fabulous burger, gotta say. was red but it was a uh, construction zone I don't know where I am West Virginia some crumbly little town it was just a series of town after town they're kind of almost connected on these rolling hills I think the main one I left were at Hardy's was Clarksburg so outside of Clarksburg These uh, three ton or so Fords from the 60s and 70s are, are everywhere, every state I've been. Still operating, still running. Really well built. Beautiful. These gritty, bricky towns. Northern West Virginia is a little grittier. Miss Google just said, welcome to Maryland. I didn't know I was going to Maryland. So I guess that's it for West Virginia. That about sums it up. I don't imagine I'll be going through Maryland very, very long. I'm supposed to be going to Pennsylvania. So uh, catch the next video, Pennsylvania. We'll see what we see. Bye for now. Cactus without the boat.
Have a happy day.